What is going on guys? I'm your host Francis Bo here to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on anything going on in the world of entertainment. And I just got back from seeing the brand new sci-fi film Annihilation. And I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on the film. Now, uh, before we jump into the review, I know that you guys have been um, probably wondering my thoughts on some other movie topics that have been um, happening lately. For example, some stuff going on with DC, um, some Transformer stuff. Um, I know you guys are wondering my thoughts and I'm going to post my thoughts about them on Monday. Um, this review is coming out on Sunday, um, and uh, yeah, so let's jump right in and talk about Annihilation, because I really, really want to talk about this movie, um, because this movie was really, really good. Um, so, we're going to get into my positives, my negatives, and my overall score out of 10, as we always do. So, um, I can't really say much about the plot, because... Um, I feel like the best way to get going to this movie is to not know anything. And if you're worried about the trailers or any of the clips spoiling the movie, do not worry. Watch the trailers. Um, they really don't give anything away. Um, they give some stuff, but it's nothing. Really, really nothing. Um, this movie was really, really good. I gotta tell you, it's... It does a lot of things that a lot of movies nowadays don't do. And that is that... Um, it's one of those films that really doesn't answer everything. I'm going to just put it that way. It's a lot of stuff where it's open to interpretation. And I love when movies do that. I love that movies that don't really give you the full answer. They just leave a lot of stuff open for you. And um, I love that. A great example of a film that, did, that left stuff open to interpretation is Blade Runner, um, when, you know, about the, of course, you know, the, the whole thing about Rick Deckard, um, you know, being a replicant or a human, that discussion's been, you know, over 30 years now, so, um, I love that Annihilation, um, did that type of thing where they basically, um, um, they don't, they give you enough story, but at the same time, they give you a lot of stuff that is open to interpretation, which I absolutely love. Um, so that was the first thing I, I really, really liked, is that it leaves a lot of stuff open to interpretation, which I really enjoy. Um, the second thing that I really liked is the environment um, and the details in this movie are really, really cool. Um, as you can tell from the trailers, um, they enter this um, sphere thing. I can't, I can't spoil anything about it, um, but needless to say, they have to adventure into the sphere um like thing and um they um what's inside it is a really really detailed um environment um there's a lot of stuff that you get to see and explore and it's really really cool it's a it's really cool to look at and um it's very very detailed which i really really like um and um the performances were good um, I think the standout for me was Gina Rodriguez. I think that's her name. Um, I thought she was hands down the best actress in this film. Um, I thought she did a really, really good job in this in this in this movie. There's one particular scene um, where she completely owns it. Um, I think you guys know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie. Um, but um, yeah, she was my personal favorite um, uh, favorite actor slash actress in the entire film. Um, the story is really, really intriguing and really, really, um, um, really cool to explore and dissect. Um, it, there's a, there's a lot of stuff, uh, interesting themes and interesting concepts that they, um, brought to annihilation, in this, brought to annihilation. Um, it's stuff that we've seen before, I will say that. Um, there's certain things that we, that you've seen before. Um, but at the same time, the way they introduce those things that we've seen before, um, it makes it is done in a different and unique way. And, um, which then makes the story feel different and unique. Um, so, um, I really like the story. I think the story is really, really, um, it, it makes you think. It really makes you think. So... Um, those are pretty much my positives. Um, the only negative that I really have is that the beginning is a little fast. I think that the beginning could have been a little bit 
slower and a little bit more um, fleshed out. Um, but other than that, um, this movie is really solid. It is a really, really good sci-fi film. Um, there's great um, sci-fi beats. Um, there is um, really good um, thriller beats. Um, this movie is really intense in certain parts. Uh, there's also good horror beats as well. Um, it really, it, it really, it hit all the notes for me, and I think it's a really cool, interesting sci-fi film. Um, I know I'm being very, very vivid in this review, but I'm being very, very vivid for a very good reason. Um, but this movie is really, really good. I really, really enjoyed this movie. And in terms of my score, I'm going to give Annihilation a 9.3 out of 10, a solid A. I think that um, this is a really, really good movie. Um, go watch it. It is really, really good. I know all of you have probably still seen Black Panther, but... Um, I would highly recommend watching Annihilation. I think it's really, really good. And um, yeah, go watch it. If you're a fan of sci-fi and a fan of, a fan of um, um, thrillers, I think you're really going to enjoy this movie. So um, yeah, that's it for my review for Annihilation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go watch it. It's a really, really good film. If you have watched it, let me know in the comment section below. What did you think of Annihilation? Did you thought it was good? Did you thought it was bad? Um, did you like the story? Um, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. And that's it for my, for my review of Annihilation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, as we end these videos, bow out. See you next time. Peace.